Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Stardust Accelerator. In the last part, we dueled um, uh, Blister and Bolt Tanner as a tag duel, and then we dueled Leo and Luna and lost horribly because of bad draws. So, in this part, I've managed to get back to Leo and Luna, and as a result, we're going to duel them again. Because, of course, I, I forgot to save. I forgot to save between between duels in the last part. So, final match. <laughs> Me and Graton. Graton. Whatever the hell. Luna and Leo. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, hurry up. So, tag duel with Leo and Luna again. It's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't, as long as I don't lose again, right now. That's all. <laughs> That's all I want. I just want to not lose right now. That would be quite nice. I've already lost to these guys twice. And only w once this, w once now, obviously. But draw. Okay. So we've got Twitter Behemoth and a Cyberdark Horn. That will work. Twitter to Behemoth in attack mode and... Um. <coughs> oh, sorry, my uh, my headphones are playing up a bit. I'll end my turn. That will do perfectly fine right now. <coughs> do you have a monster that can defeat this? No. Wow, I'm very surprised. Then again, this is Luna, so yeah. Luna doesn't have particularly good uh, monsters. She's better at... The fairies are better at spells. Or traps, specifically, actually. Far more. Oh no, my... my... my storm! My... my uh, virus, rather. My virus, why? On the other hand, I am glad that that thing is gone, the messenger of peace. And also, wall of... wall of revealing light. That's quite nice to get rid of as well. Solar Discharge to draw cards. Good. Monster Reborn brings back Celestia. Wow. Hi. Hi, Celestia. Mm -hmm. And Lila lights one Sorceress. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, that's a waste, because when Karibo prevents all damage... I no, no, actually, no, no, it's in attack mode, so it doesn't matter. Prevents all damage after... Oh, <laughs> there was another one! Why did you bother then? Why did you do that? That was literally just accepting damage right there. That was just... Uh, that was poor. Poor play, Luna. Poor play. So Lila is going to repeatedly um, drain uh, cards from the deck. Which may include... Hi, Cyber Dragon. How's it going? Uh, which may include uh, Light Swan Monsters if it's uh, Graton's turn. Or uh, dragon monsters, if it's mine. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do with that cyber dragon, man? Huh? You're gonna destroy my uh, dragon. Okay, I'm fine with that. If I'm honest. That was kind of what I was hoping you were going to do, to be honest. Although its special ability is going to bring it back from the graveyard, so uh, it's not going to help much. But hey, whatever, sure. I draw. Hmm. Uh, let's see. We've got Solemn Judgment. We've got Lila, who's got 1700 attack points. Um, you can change this card from attack to defense mode to destroy a spell or trap your opponent controls. And send the top three cards of the deck to the graveyard. That's okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, so Celestia... Um, when you tribute it with a with a light sworn monster, you can send the top four cards of the deck to the graveyard to destroy up to f two cards. So it's it is right now just a two twenty three hundred power point beat stick. Well, I'm activating the reasoning spell card. Reasoning allows me to special summon a card, and this is th in this case it's an armed dragon, which isn't very really good. Damn it. Okay, fine. 
I will not be summoning Cyberdark Horn right now because I have nothing I can equip it to, uh, equip to it. So, <clears throat> let us fight. Uh, Celestia shall destroy this Cyber Dragon. And then Lila will destroy the face down monster. Or at least try to. It might be something more pow powerful. Okay, it's a giant rat. That's okay. That's not too bad. I would be okay if either of these dragon monsters uh, were sent to the graveyard. Especially uh, Twin Headed Behemoth. Because it gives my uh, Cyberdark Horn more points. And there goes a Cyberdark Keel. That's okay. That's okay. Because I have uh, Cyberdark Impact in my hand. So. <laughs> okay, you're destroying Arm Dragon. That makes sense. It makes sense. I mean, the. Arm dragon cards are fairly useless in uh, uh, the 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 arm dragon cards are fairly useless in um, in a tag duel because of the fact that uh, <coughs> because of the uh, the the problem with uh, words uh, because of the problem with um, uh, with there being two players. Uh, the Arm Dragon card can only activate on monsters that are in your deck, and that means that the uh, the level up can o ha the, the 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 monster to level up has to has to wait for two turns rather than the normal one, which isn't very good overall, really. Okay, now what? Electronic <laughs> Slingin. Slingin. Solemn Judgment, cut life points in half to stop the summon. I'd uh, say so that's kind of a waste. Slingin can't really do much by itself. But whatever. Sure. We've got enough power to take this thi take this guy down right now, actually. So, uh... uh I could do a Cyberdark Impact with, um... Arm Dragon level 3. That would be a waste, but, you know... Hi, Judgment Dragon. <gasps> oh, I can do it with Judgment Dragon. Let's do that. That'd be fun. Cyberdark Impact! I fuse Cyberdark Horn, Cyberdark Edge, and Cyberdark Keel. One in my hand and two in my graveyard. To summon Cyberdark Dragon in attack mode. And Cyberdark Dragon shall equip that Judgment Dragon that my partner threw away. Giving it 4,500 attack points. Beautiful. <laughs> I love this thing. I <laughs> love it. Let us smash you. Cyberdark Dragon attack! There goes all of your life points. Goodbye. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Let's go. This is a tournament, my friend. You can't go again. You silly child. <laughs> Money for me. And we win. Yes. Woo! We win. That was quite easy, to be honest. It was a lot easier than the last time, that's for certain. That act, th that hand at least had something to work with it, to to work with. Words. Sorry, guys. I may, however, be. Uh, I may end up building a new deck soon, however, because I am getting kind of kind of bored of Cyberdark. It's a cool. It's it's a cool. Uh, it's a cool concept, but it doesn't. It's not very uh, stable, as it were. It's not very. Uh, Consistent. That's the word I'm looking for. Mm. Yeah. You did nice. You did well. Nice going, Grattan. <laughs> Woo. Oh, and these two come, al come along. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. We just won. That's all. We just beat you. Too bad. 
Uh, didn't really help, I'm afraid. Sorry. <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. And no, probably not. <laughs> I'm not dealing you again. I hate dealing with Moltronics. I hate dealing with those annoying, like, yeah, you know, like, like, really, those really versatile decks, like Moltronics and stuff like that. Uh, hi, Rex Goodwin. Hi there. What are you doing here? The king. Oh my god, it's Jack Atlas! Yes. <laughs> Hi Jack, how's it going? <laughs> yes, I noticed you. I might be able to, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but not right now. Not, not, not right now. I, I am in the process of building a new deck right now, or conceptualizing a new deck. I'm thinking about making a new deck. That's all. I, I, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for not dueling me right now, without even giving me a chance to save. <laughs> you know, that wouldn't be very nice at all. Yeah. So. um... Because we've finished the tournament, because we finished the tournament, we have, I believe, a new pack? Maybe? I, th I think you get one for starting the tournament and one for finishing it. As crazy as that is. I may be wrong. I th I, I, okay, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. Hmm. I may I may need to do some more uh, plot stuff before we unlock the story. Uh, before we unlock the... Uh, the new pack. Okay, let's do a bit more, a bit more talking, which I happen to. Uh, I imagine, uh, I'd bleh. I happen to know, is going to involve talking to Blister again, I believe, at some point. If not now, then at some time in the future. No, that's a locked door. Um, are we down here? Yes, we are down here. Keep walking. Gotta hurry up. Is this it? Nope, nope, this is the bike shop. I'm good at going into the wrong place, aren't I? Here we are. And here's Blister's uh, hideout. Hey, Blister. Riding. Interesting. That may not have been what I need to do. Okay, hmm. it probably isn't what I need to do. I can't remember. I don't. I don't know what I need to do right now. So, uh, if you don't mind, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a look. Have a look around. Give me a sec, everybody. Hey, everybody. I know where I'm going now. I think. I'm fairly sure I know where I'm going now. I still may get lost every now and again because this map isn't... I'm not used to this map still. Uh, it's not that. Is it south of here? No, 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 that's not it. Is it east of here then? <laughs> Come on, give me a break. Yeah, here we are. There we go. Hey, Boltana. How's it going? Mm -hmm. Huh. Fortune Cup invitation. Just like what happened in the uh, in the anime. <laughs> Not including the tag team tournament, obviously, but uh, you know. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, no, not really. Blister might know about it. Okay, let's go back to talk to Blister now. Because now is when we're supposed to talk to Blister. So let's do that. <laughs> oh dear. My apologies for leading you astray, everybody. We are... I was right, 
I was just badly timed in my correctness. And that, that makes no sense. Talk to Blister now. The Fortune Cup. Yeah, but I have one, so... <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Uh, because Jack said so, I imagine. I, I, I might as well, you know? <laughs> oh good time limit time limited biking oh good <laughs> okay I, I, I yeah so now that we have that information now that we have that information we do now have the new pack I am certain of it and there we go. Yep. New pack again. Yay. Thank goodness. It's laggy intro screen. World Championship. Let's check out the new pack, shall we? I wonder what's in here. Yes. Give me those light swans. <laughs> in case you didn't know... In, in case you hadn't picked up on, uh, on, uh, in the, in the, uh, the last, like, tag duel tournament, the Light Sworn cards are all really good. Light Sworn, the Light Sworn pack are, is really good. It also has Arcana Force, which is a very interesting, if not, uh, powerful, like, it, it, it's an extremely interesting, even even if it isn't the most powerful pack, uh, set. It has Arcana Force in it. Arcana Force, as I said, interesting. Not exceptionally powerful. It also has Battery Mans, apparently. Battery, bat battery Men. Battery Man. And Gladiator Beast. Arcana Force 18. That's it. 18. The Moon. The moon. Uh, Garath. Dra uh, Gra Dragon, let's one dragon. Okay, the force twenty-one. The world. Substitute. Sub sub that, that could have been bad. Substitoed. Here we are. Um, more the moon. Uh, the Empress. Jane lights one paladin. D fortune deck lockdown. I could make. Oh, there's cloudy and storm dragon, and volcanic queen. There's quite a few interesting cards in here actually. I mean, they're not all amazing, obviously, but they're all, they're quite a few that are in they're quite interesting. Like, uh, as I said, the Arcana Force pack, the, the Arcana Force set, very interesting set, that Arcana Force. I quite like it because it's like the, the, uh, the set used by one of the main antagonists of, um, of GX before it went absolutely crazy in Season 3. Um, and then of course the Light Swarms, which are really, really good indeed. Light Swarms are incredible in all ways, really. Um, uh, Battery Man, we've already dealt with Battery Man in very annoying fights. And uh, there's some Destiny Hero and Elemental Hero stuff in there as well. I may be building an Elemental Hero themed deck now, and I also will be building a Light Swan deck in the future as well. Just so you guys know. So, until then, until next time, I'll see you guys then. Yeah. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody.